Hi, in this video, we are going to see how do you manage a business unit. So we have created a business unit in a previous video. So in this video, we will see how to assign functions to a business unit. So I'm going to go to set up and maintenance. And I'm going to go into the procurement module. And I'm going to go on the organizing structure and then I'm going to sell, assign, select this one. But before th doing that, we have to select a scope to as to which business unit you are going to uh, add those functions. So I'm going to select and add, click on apply, and I'm going to select LF01, which is our new business unit. So I'm going to set this scope. So this is this menu controls what business functions the your new business unit will perform. So I'm going to select it for materials management. I'm going to select it for payables invoicing, payables payment, procurement, procurement contracts, receiving, requisitioning. So I think that's that's good. So I'm mainly going to use this uh, business unit for procurement. And so as soon as it business unit performs some transactions like payable invoicing, payables payment, you need to give it a ledger. So I'm going to give it a US1 ledger. So I'm going to give it to US primary ledger and then default entity would be the US one legal entity so and then I would click save and close so that's how you assign um, the business functions to a business unit so now I'm going to go back into my organization structures again and I'm going to say all tasks Go back to organization structure and I'm going to say all tasks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to have a, make this as a client service provider. So I am going to say manage service provider relationships. So since our business unit is only enabled for payables and procurement, by default uh, it's LF01 business unit. So if I want to have another business unit as a service provider, so I'm going to say select US1. So I'm going to select this, apply and done. And also for my procurement, I'm going to select service providers. So what I'm saying here is for my LF01 business unit, so we have a shared service business unit called US1. So US1 business unit is going to provide services for procurement and payables for my business unit. So my business unit did not do those functions, but US1 can provide services to my BU. So that's seven close. And that's how you create business units and manage them.